somewhere else stumbling. Mitch Larson comes with a huge clothesline. Back up to his feet, somewhere else. No look back. Elbow actually connects with Mitch. Just caught him off guard there. Oh, look at this. Somebody else while Mitch is down. Hits story off the apron. To the corner, takes in the. There's a ball. Case with here, huge double teamwork there. Russell goes off to finish the power driver. Mitch sent the outside off that drop kick. Wait a minute, Reginald on the apron, very uncharacteristic. A huge drop kick. It's a huge lot. That's up to a three count. It doesn't seem to be holding Reginald back as now he's putting Mitch Larson on that, on that security wall. And again, shot to the corner, but Mitch thinks better of it. And wait, look at this. Bulldog, somebody else didn't help out Reginald here. Seven. Reginald just getting back up. Makes him ring in the nick of time. Reginald with that chop and he gets punished. He's chasing the store. Hopefully the son's energy back. Store working on Reginald's arm. Got him up. Wait a minute. Turn that around. Suplex of his own. Now look at this. Reginald unleashing and exposing a turnbuckle. Oh, look at this though. Stores got him. Slamming him back down. Another kick to the knee. Wait a minute. Reginald. Thought he telegraphed it because he got insecure. Wait a minute. Destroy turn. Oh, a huge spinning reverse DDT to cover. Oh, two count. So again, though, trying to mount from behind this. this Gets out of it. Very nice way to get out of that. Shots the back of the knee. Working on Destroyer's knee here. Wearing it down. So back up. And again, he's trying for this and he connects with that spinning DDT again. And it seems to come out of nowhere. Devastating right hand blow. Store tired of somebody else turning on the evening and just kicks him off like with ease. Oh! Store blocked and now Reginald blocks this is blocking left and right here. Reginald going outside for a second and then it's like come back in. Store the trip up. Sombrero just desperately needs to get a t just wants in here. Reginald needs a tag and he needs it now. Oh, oh knee drop to the face. Uh, tag into Sombriato. Uh, coming from behind. Signaling the end. Oh, it tries to go for the super kick, but the store telegraphed it. Now look at this, Sombri or the store now looking at Sombriano's back of the knee. Boston Crab though, but look at he's got the ropes. Assist of Reginald I by now. Should the referee saw that one. Oh, but the store again tele telegraphed the super kick. But got DDT for all the troubles. Ground and pound here. Back and forth action. Got 
tag in the mix. So we kind of double team what they use this time. Double handed choke slam. Wearing out the knees. Oh my. And a low blow from Sombriato. Of course he has to use that kind of cheap strategy. Wait a minute, I'm receiving more than this unknown commotion going between Coco and some other other person that's gonna count back right now. Oh wait, wait! Oh no, no, not wait a minute now. Come on! What? This mask is unknown assailant, it's just hammer away at Coco that damn sledgehammer! Uh, who is this? Oh no, don't do this, oh come on! This is gonna be a damn travesty here. Oh my god, you know this is what Lord Hardy's doing. Oh, come on. Not, this is just absolutely disgusting. Oh my god, no. We gotta get some help out there, damn it. Don't stop this carnage. We've got Coco up here. He's laying on the steel. Oh no. Got Coco up. Not like this! Oh, good call! Someone's gotta get out there before Coco gets seriously injured here! I know, she's going to match up later! So we'll get some help out there, damn it! I might not be able to compete. No, I don't think they're coming, Rock Jock. They're not. Someone stop that bitch! Oh, come look at this. Look at that garbage. Well, anyways, we're going to go back to the action here. Well, you just saw now Reginald's in. I don't even know what to, what to say about what that garbage that has been on with Coco and that unknown assailant, that mysterious lady in bread. That paper bag around her head. Obviously, she's pretty damn ugly. But, we got to get some help with that. We've got to tend to Coco before she, she might be seriously injured. Hopefully, she's not because we just two huge tall matches here tonight. A leg job. I mean, it's easy to, I mean, I mean, look at that ref, ref on that damn ref, that heinous attack from the referee, and speaking of heinous, back to that thing with Coco, I mean, you gotta get some answers around him, I mean, it's safe to sort of assume that, that was, I mean, Laura Hardy was behind this, I mean, that, that is the coward that she is, we had to weaken, probably, try to weaken Coco before her double X tower defense here tonight. Different tags between Destroyer and Mitch Larson here. Great double teamwork. It was just mean, I mean, she has two towel matches for crying out loud. I mean, she has the women's towel match she's going to defend with against, you know, she's going to compete for the championship with Ursula Ariana on the champion herself, Stacey Hardy, but she has to defend the double title with, against Laura Hardy. Cover here after that devastating. How's she going to be? I mean, if she's seriously injured, how's she going to be able to compete twice here tonight? German suplex on the for two count. Coco was looking forward to tonight, saying that her was like the biggest thing in her career. She has the opportunity to win two titles in the same night. And all that came crashing down. Because some idiot wanted to, you know, take a cheap shot at Coco. Nick has all the momentum here. Another insecurity to the temple. Now where's Reginald going? We saw him bring a chair earlier. Reginald, Reginald with a head like he has enough. He wants to get, get out. He doesn't want anything to do with Mitch Watterson now. When, when, when Reginald, you were talking about that he did not to get talking about big. No, well, that's what I'm talking about. Mitch, Mitch always doesn't want to match and this one. He wants to dish out pain and pressure to Reginald once again. You know, Retro taking the coward's way out, like we haven't seen that before. Hear anything about Retro's history. Look at that reverse neck breaker. He's trying to do whatever he can to get Retro back in the ring and does so. But now Mitch has to get back in the ring at six and he does. Mitch doesn't want to mistakenly get himself counted out. That would just be bad. Retro missed. Trying to go for a German suplex, but Retro turns it around. Got him. Headlock and a DDT. Playing him square on the top of his head. And I'm surprised Sombriado hasn't implemented this cloning ability and trying to sit you know, a dozen clones on it to destroy Mitch Watterson in this match already. 
don't think he wants to get himself disqualified. I guess Sombrero finally realized, I mean, if, I guess he kind of thought to himself, if I see he can actually think, because he's a machine, decided that, oh, it's better to win on his own instead of using his cheap-ass cloning ability to beat his opponent. Which the price in degree out of nowhere. But I decided, I probably figured that's probably un unlucky, because, you know, like I said, he's a machine, he doesn't care about, you know, care, he probably doesn't care about how he wins, he just wants to just destroy his opponents any way possible. He's about, just for, he's about just picking his spots on the way for the right time to send, those, to send in the clones here tonight. To reverse each other back and forth. It's Watterson though. Wait. Someone hung on the ropes. But it doesn't matter now. See, now he's in the corner. 